Hello ladies and gentlemen, we're going to look at how we can find some factors using a scratch program. Actually when I say some factors, I mean all factors of a particular number. So we're going to call this factor finder as a program in scratch here. And we won't need any sprites, so let's just right click and delete that. So we have a blank slate to start from. To start with, we'll need a variable that uh, is the number that we're going to be finding the factors of. So we'll start with that variable and we're going to ask people what is the number you want to find factors for. So that's what we'll ask the user. Now to start with we need to actually when the green flag is clicked we'll start the program and ask that and let's go back to sensing and then there's the answer uh, is the the variable that will be the result of that so going back to data we will set the number to that answer and let's try that part of the program so what's the number you want to find factors for we'll say 12 and we see now the variable is 12 so we've set that variable number to what the answer is from that question we asked. So the next thing we need to do is uh, make another variable and this will be the factors that we are testing. So let's say factor we are, let's do this, we are testing will be the next variable and uh, we will set that variable to be 2. That will be the first one we're testing, of course, because we know that all numbers are divisible by 1 uh, and themselves, of course. Okay, so we have uh, set up the factors. Now we need uh, a way to list all of the factors that we found. So let's just call this factors. So that list will be the, the factors. We will, um, first of all, clear that list right at the very beginning, maybe all the way at the beginning here. So delete all of that list so that we don't have anything left from the last time we ran it. Uh, and uh, the first, uh, so after, well, then I guess we can insert right at the beginning we know the first factor is going to be one at the beginning okay so wherever we do that it doesn't really matter let's do it there okay so we we know the first factor is going to be one we're going to set the factor we're testing to be two and then we need a uh, loop that's going to go through and test all of our factors so we'll use a repeat until and we'll use an if for the testing process uh, and then at the end we will uh, go back to our list and we will add the the number that we have here as our last factor so for example, if we're looking at 12, we know the first factor is going to be one, the last factor is going to be 12, uh, and then the middle stuff is what we're going to do in the loop here. So the, the way to test if something is a factor, we want to see if it's equal. There are a few different ways to do that. The way we're going to do it is uh, we're going to check an e equal sort of thing. So if we take uh, a divided by, so the number divided by the factor we are testing, that's what we're looking at here. That will actually need two copies of that. So if we right click and duplicate it. So we're going to compare something called a floor. Uh, so floor is, so if we grab that square root thing and grab the floor, so if the floor of this, that is the, if we take 12 divided by 2, uh, the floor of that would be 2. 
oh sorry it would be six um, or 10 divided by 5 the floor of that would be 2 uh, the 10 divided by 6 if we go up here 10 divided by 6 uh, is one point all of these numbers the floor of that is 1 so that's the the special function so it's whatever the the whole number is is what we're looking at for floor so if the floor of number divided by factor we're testing is equal to number divided by factor we're testing basically that's a fancy way of saying there was no remainder when we did this division so if that is true then what we want to do is add our factor we are testing to our list of factors and that's good so uh, we've tested the number two we found in that case it was a factor so we added to factors then the next thing we want to do is change the factor we're testing by one so we'll test the next one which will be three and we'll keep going through all of this uh, as we have it right now it will repeat infinitely we don't want that so we want a repeat until we're going to use the greater than so repeat until the factor we're testing is i mean we could do a quick and easy way to repeat until the factor we're testing is greater than the number but that will run about twice as long as we needed to because really we only have to first test the first half of the factors that are less than the number so uh, because we know once we found all of those um, we won't well let's actually let's just let's leave it like that and we'll run it just to try it okay so what is the number you want to find factors for we're gonna hit 12 okay one two three all of these problem is we found 12 as a factor twice so we could solve that by taking this out and let's click the green flag and then we found 12 so that's an easy way or if we want to have that in we can just test the first half of it by using our division number divided by 2 like that and let's test it again with 12 we get the factors let's test it with a nice number like 72 that shows us all of our factors of 72 let's try a really big number so that gave us 16 different factors for that number cool eh? let me know if you have any questions